everybody. Welcome back to Sincerely Legenia. I am Legenia and I am so glad that you guys are here. In today's video, I am going to be making a Philly cheesesteak pizza. And there are a few things that I need to get at the store before I get started. So um, I'm going to bring you guys along to the store with me to do a little bit of shopping. And then we're going to come back and make this fabulous Philly cheesesteak pizza. I cannot wait to share this recipe with you. to do is I'm going to shred one cup of mozzarella cheese. Okay guys, I've got my mozzarella cheese here in a microwave safe dish. I'm going to put this in the microwave and allow it to melt for about 30 seconds and then we'll bring it back and put all of our other ingredients inside. All right, got my mozzarella cheese out of the microwave and I am going to stir this around a bit to make sure it's melted nicely and actually i'm actually going to put this in for maybe another 10 seconds all right perfect so now i'm going to go in with one egg i'm going to go in with one teaspoon of baking powder i'm going to go in with three fourths cup of almond flour and i'm going to add a pinch of salt all right, let's give this a mix. Okay guys, now that I've got it mixed a little bit, I'm gonna go on and dust this with a little bit more almond flour. And I'm gonna put a little almond flour in my hands and I'm going to start to knead this dough. So now I'm going to cover this and let this sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes so that the dough can set. It's still a bit sticky. I want it to be more manageable and easy to work with. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna get together our Philly cheese steak and the rest of the toppings for our pizza. For this recipe, I'm going to be using already shaved beef and I'm gonna show you two different types of shaved beef that I usually buy. Um, I really, really like and prefer this brand right here that I get from Kroger. I love how thin it is and it tastes really, really good. But at times I'll also purchase this one right here. This is the Great Value brand from Walmart. This one is about $6 and this one here is uh, like $6.99. So it's about $7 at Kroger. But either one of these brands are perfect. I've used both of them. I love both of them. Again, I prefer this one. I love it because it's sliced so much thinner and I love the thinly sliced steak. Now, if you don't have either one of these as an option, you can always slice your own steak. I would recommend you get a sirloin steak and slice it as thin as you can, and it will also go perfect in this recipe. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started, and I'm going to be using the Kroger brand of the shaved beef. Okay, everybody, so I've got a hot skillet here. I'm going to put some avocado oil at the bottom of the skillet, about a tablespoon, just to keep the um, beef from sticking. I'm not going to use all of this for this pizza. We're making a 10 inch pizza, so I'm going to only need, in all honesty, about um, a half a cup of this. I'm not going to use all of it, so maybe about a half a cup of this beef. The rest I'm going to use and make my hubby and my daughter some Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. 
So I'm gonna let that go. Of course, we're gonna add seasoning and we're gonna add one of the best seasonings around. We're going to use Sincerely Virginia's all-purpose seasoning to season our beef. Why? Because it is an all-purpose seasoning. And it will go great on top of our Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak, okay? So I've got this on medium-high heat. And as you can see, it's already browning up really nicely. And while this is browning up, we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven. I'm going to preheat my oven for 425 so that it can be nice and hot when we get ready to put our pizza in. And while this is cooking, we're gonna go on over to the other side and chop up our vegetables. on top of our pizza, green bell pepper, garlic, onion, and mushrooms. Okay, so our beef is ready. I'm gonna take it out of the skillet and put it in this bowl right here. I'm gonna set the beef to the side. All right, and I'm gonna use all of that goodness at the bottom. We're gonna cook our veggies in it. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more oil to the bottom of our skillet. And what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and go in with our vegetables. Our skillet is still nice and hot. So let's go ahead and put our vegetables in here. I'm not, again, I'm not going to cook these long because they're gonna also cook in the oven with the pizza. But I do want them a little bit more tender than they would be if I just put them in raw. You guys can certainly do it however you like your vegetables. If you like your vegetables a bit raw um, going into the oven, because maybe you like that little bit of a crunch in your pizza from the veggies, that is perfectly fine, okay? Trust me, that is fine as well. I just want to cook mine a little bit before I put them on top of our pizza. Okay, everyone, the last thing we're going to prepare before we start putting our pizza together is our cream sauce. So that starts out with some butter and our cream. We're going to add one ounce of cream cheese. And guys, I will have these measurements available at SincerelyLagenia.com. So all of the ingredients and the amounts that you need will be available again at SincerelyLagenia.com. All right, we're gonna get this going. We're going to add garlic powder and salt. Last thing, pepper. Okay, everyone, so I have my dough out of the refrigerator. I'm going to now roll it out and form my pizza. Oh yeah, it's a lot easier to manage now. All right, so I'm gonna dust this with a little bit of almond flour there, and then a little bit on top. And I'm going to start out by kneading the dough. All right, and there we have our dough. So now we're just going to press this out. a 10 inch pizza pie pan.
pan thingy majigger. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is place it on top like that. Peel my paper back. Uh oh. Peel the parchment back just like that. Okay. And we're gonna shape this around very carefully. Very carefully shape it around our pizza pan. All right. <laughs> I want to make sure to note to make sure that all of your toppings have cooled first, okay, before you add them to your fathead dough. So first thing we're going to do is go in with our delicious creamy sauce that has completely cooled. You can add as much of this sauce on as you would like. Now we're going to go in with our mozzarella and provolone cheese blend and we're going to add as little or as much cheese as you would like. I'm not going to go in with too much cheese because we've got a lot of cheese going on in this particular recipe. So I'm just going to add a little here. All right, now we have our delicious vegetables that have cooled. I'm going to now go in with our wonderfully delicious onions, bell pepper, and mushrooms. Woo, and it smells so good already. You guys, we're, we're creating magic right here, okay? We are creating magic, guys. And then of course, we've got our delicious shaved beef. We're gonna put that right on top. Put as little or as much as you want on here. Just make sure it gets on there, that's all. <laughs> mm. And lastly, I'm gonna add just a teeny bit more. Just gonna let a little bit more cheese grace the top. All right, and here we have it. I'm going to put this on the rack, directly on the rack, at 425 degrees in my preheated oven for approximately five to eight minutes. Remember, everything is already cooked already except for the fat head dough. So we're gonna put this in the oven again for three to five minutes to cook. All right, guys, look at that. Our pizza is looking amazing. It is ready. Let's get it on out of here and let's get it. Excited to give this a taste. It is a bit hot. So you guys bear with me, but I am excited to taste this. Here we go. Oh. Hot. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. My friends, unbelievably delicious. That cream sauce is just what this pizza needs. It is so delicious, it is so creamy. Our fathead dough turned out perfect. The mushrooms, the meat and the peppers and onions, everything about this pizza makes sense. It is just so good. It is the perfect Philly cheesesteak pizza. Um, it's, it's everything you need. Mm. It's everything you want. Amazing. You have got to give this a try today. SincerelyLegenia.com. Visit my website. This recipe will be right there for you. It is so yummy, so delicious. Your kids are going to love it. 
the entire family, keto or not, are going to love this pizza, I promise. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you get an opportunity to try this Philly cheesesteak pizza with this fathead dough. Absolutely marvelous. It is so good. Hey, if you are new here and you like what you saw in today's video, I would love for you to become a member of the Sincerely Legedia family. Simply click the subscription button below and go ahead and click the notification bell so that you know every time I upload a brand new video. You guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, go on over to Instagram at SincerelyLegenia.com and follow me there. There you'll get to see a little bit of what I do on, my, on a day-to-day -day basis what I'm eating um, during the day, so on and so forth. I share a little bit more about myself there on Instagram. I'd love to have you guys follow me there. Also, if you're interested in the Sincerely Legenia all-purpose seasoning, the keto all-purpose seasoning, then visit SincerelyLegenia.com. You'll get all the information you need. The pre-sales for these begin on June the 28th, 2021 so make sure you go on and grab your bottle we are only going to be selling 200 of these units during our first round so go ahead and make sure you order early so that you can get your hands on some of this delicious seasoning it is so good and i cannot wait for you guys to give it a try as always it is a pleasure it is my prayer that you and your family have a blessed and a prosperous day and i'm going to talk to you in the next video right here on sincerely legenia have a good one, guys. Bye.